getting the show started. What's up, society? What's going on? Friends, you have to check out iHeartMolly One's channel. He's a great vlogger, YouTuber, and a very nice guy. I was talking to him a couple weeks ago, and you should just really check out his channel. As you can see, we've kind of gotten a wardrobe change. Yeah, we've got the. I got a haircut, and there's uh, the glasses. Yeah, we, and the ties too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're missing the ties. Yeah. Okay. And he was wearing a different hat. Different hat. Different hat. Yeah. So now off to the funny stuff. Today's first topic: talking on the phone. Talking on the phone is one of those things that you love or hate. Or you're kind of in the middle. Well, that narrows it down. Anyways, I was just relieved of the awkwardness of talking on the phone because me and my girlfriend just broke up. But me? He's stuck in the awkward position of playing popular phone games like phone tag, phone sex, and phone deal or no deal. But it seems that talking on the phone with people is only a problem. For people who complain about talking on the phone. And vice versa. People who tend to talk on the phone a lot typically have a lot to talk about. <laughs> like your girlfriend talking about last night. Yeah, I heard it was terrible. Moving on. Recently, Apple unveiled the new iPad. Now, most YouTubers we've seen have had a take on it. Whether it's complaining about its lack of pocketability, lack of differentiation from the iPod Touch, or its ability to download ebooks. Which apparently bothers uh... some people. <laughs> Sorry. You did not just fart. <laughs> what? Oh, that's really bad. What? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> no, no. Did you plan on that? No. It... <laughs> that escaped. <laughs> yeah. That was unexpected. Yeah. How bad is it? Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Was I bacon? Oh my god, you have a terrible smell. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Which apparently bothers some people. But we're sad to say we will not be buying an iPad. I haven't even gotten my eye period yet. But we don't really know what all the hype is about personally. And it's not because we don't like the concept of the iPad. We just haven't the slightest idea what the deal is with it. And if you end up getting one, just review it in the comments. Let's see, anyone review? Uh, no, look at that, no comments. This is all your fault! And just in case you need an excuse to party... Today, February 12th, is Abraham Lincoln's birthday. And for those of you who don't understand President's Day too well... As far as we remember, I guess it's because, like, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln were born around that day. What, were they the only good presidents or something? Well, no, they just happen to have their birthdays around this time, and they're really important and stuff. Well, what about, like, JFK? Well, yeah, he was great, but I guess, you know, it's just President's Day. So, we can celebrate his birthday anyways? Yeah, if it makes you happy. Well, what about his death? Okay, fine, it can be his birth death day. These last 20 seconds have been set up to make you say birth death day. Try it. <laughs> you sound silly. In other news... Dave Mustaine of Megadeth released his new custom Zero Dean guitar. No joke, that's just awesome. As you can see, I'm a huge fan of Megadeth. Here we have General Rattlehead. General Had Rattlehead likes you a lot. Massachusetts hasn't made texting and driving illegal yet. Why? Where's the other side of that argument? As you can see here, drunk driving makes you four times more likely to get in an accident than if you had been driving not drunk. Texting makes you eight times more likely to get in an accident than if you were not texting. Clearly, if drunk driving is illegal, texting and driving should also be illegal. Uh, yes, you. What if you're a faster texter than you are a talker, and you're about to get in an accident? I think the representative has a point. That's like being all... Hey, let's make kidnapping a capital offense. And murder legal. I like pointless similes. Being a punk in a punk band is like being the gay kid on the cheer team. Everyone knows you belong there. But you're not very good. 
At least not in my school. Being Carlos Mencia is like being a clownfish. Despite what's implied, you're not very funny. No wait, we got a better one. Being Carlos Mencia is like being the guy on the football team who partners up with the smart kid on the science project. You get tons of credit, a whole lot of which you don't deserve. I'll tell you one thing, Carlos Mencia takes a lot more than he deserves. And that's it. Now for the Josh Sings South Park Song of the Week. Okay, here we go. Everyone is special in their own way. Move to the beginning and let you figure it out. As long as we got each other, we'll never have any trouble. That's what being friends is about. Everyone is special in their own way. What the hell are they doing? That's what being friends is about. Oh yeah, oh yeah, boys are special in their own way. Girls are special like a birthday. We'll always be dancing and singing aloud. Ah, here he is. I got like having fun in the hot summer sun. And grooving to the beat when my homework is all done. If you ask me, and every kid in school is special in their own way. Let's go up to that. Everyone is special in their own way. Move to the beat and let your spirit out. Let it out to help out of people. Yeah, they must say. And every kid, yeah, yeah, move to the beat and let your spirit out. Special in their own way. Okay, good. That was bad.